As the largest freshwater reservoir in the United States and a crucial water source for three major states, Lake Mead's significance in the nation's infrastructure cannot be overstated. However, a recent persistent drought has pushed water levels to historic lows, sparking concerns among scientists and experts. Adding to the worry are instances of resurfaced submerged bodies, the revelation of a World War II boat last year, and forecasts of towns and factories emerging after decades underwater. Yet these challenges pale in comparison to the dire reality of Lake Mead's drying. This reality is underscored by a history plagued with critical errors, potentially leaving the American Southwest devoid of proper sustenance for centuries to come. Lake Mead, situated on the Nevada-Arizona border, originated from the construction of the Hoover Dam on the Colorado River in the 1930s, with a maximum capacity of 28.23 million acre-feet of water, it has been pivotal for states like Nevada, Arizona, and California, supplying water to desert cities like Phoenix and Las Vegas. Nevada, especially, relies heavily on the reservoir for over 90% of its water needs. Arizona and California also depend on Lake Mead, albeit to a lesser extent. The ongoing severe drought in the American Southwest, however, is severely affecting the reservoir's water levels. As rainfall declines, the Colorado River struggles to provide enough water to replenish Lake Mead adequately. The resulting water shortage challenges the sustainability of water supply, and the communities dependent on it. In the face of this crisis, the drying of Lake Mead has far-reaching consequences for the region's water security and the future of populated areas. The situation emphasizes the importance of sustainable water management practices and prompts a call for collective efforts to mitigate the dire implications of a dwindling reservoir. However, the impact of this crisis extends beyond just the drought. The Colorado River, like many major rivers, primarily relies on ice cap meltwater from mountain ranges, such as the Rockies, during summer. Tragically, these ice caps have significantly diminished due to escalating climate change effects. A UN report revealed a staggering 22% reduction in ice sheets atop North American mountains, including the Rockies, over recent years. Escalating global temperatures cause ice to melt faster than it replenishes in winter. Unlike other rivers with diverse water sources, the isolated Colorado River suffers disproportionately from this reduced supply, compounded by its existing drought-stricken environment. Unquestionably, this explains the profound impact on Lake Mead. The combination of drought, climate change, heightened water consumption due to nearby areas facing water scarcity, and the expanding population collectively escalates the potential for an ecological catastrophe. However, two concealed and more ominous factors loom, suggesting a more dire future for the nation. Before delving into these, let's explore the eerie and disconcerting consequences already witnessed due to the lake's drying. As mentioned earlier, Lake Mead presently stands at its lowest level in almost 90 years, with water volume at a mere 27% of its maximum capacity. This phenomenon has brought about substantial consequences. Agricultural operations in adjacent regions have suffered, necessitating reduced or halted activities on local ranches and farms. The reduced water level also impacts energy generation at the Hoover Dam, yet these effects only scratch the surface. The receding water has led to visible transformations in the surrounding landscape. New islands have emerged, shorelines previously submerged have turned whitish, creating a distinct bathtub ring effect. The drying lake also unveils remnants of the past, such as dead trees and old structures, adding an eerie quality to the desolation. Nonetheless, the most concerning factors lie in the lake's future. The first issue is the buildup of sediments that were once trapped by the higher water levels. Now exposed, these sediments can contain toxins and pollutants from years past, posing serious environmental and health risks. The second issue is the potential for destructive algal blooms as the water's concentration increases due to evaporation, a threat to aquatic life and water quality. These concealed dangers underscore the critical need for sustainable water management, urgent climate action, 
and ecological awareness to prevent an impending disaster. The current state of Lake Mead resembles a ceramic bathtub encircling the lake. However, the eerie discoveries add to the unsettling atmosphere. For instance, in the prior year's May, boaters stumbled upon a barrel containing human remains. Authorities suspect this individual might have fallen victim to the Vegas mob's sinister practices of enclosing victims in barrels before submerging them in the lake during the 1960s or 70s. Adding to this unsettling narrative, paddleboarders Lynette and Lindsay Melvin uncovered another macabre find. What initially appeared as a rock on a sandbar turned out to be another human skull. This revelation raises chilling questions. Additionally, rangers and visitors have discovered multiple bodies, sunken boats, remains from a rock-crushing plant, and vestiges of St. Thomas, a submerged town. These astonishingly old discoveries highlight the extraordinary nature of this situation. According to Brad Udall, a water and climate scientist at Colorado State University, labeling this crisis as a drought obscures its true gravity. Unlike temporary droughts, the issues facing Lake Mead are far-reaching and enduring. Moreover, the implications stretch to the realm of a potential water apocalypse. Lake Mead isn't merely essential for sustaining vast cities like Las Vegas and Phoenix. It's also central to the Colorado River Storage Project. This initiative, initiated in the 1950s, aimed to construct dams, reservoirs, and hydroelectric plants along the Colorado River to boost agricultural and residential activity across the American Southwest. However, critical miscalculations occurred during its planning. The project's architects underestimated the river's annual supply by around 5 million acre-feet due to outdated data. Subsequently, the project has been consuming 20 to 30 percent more water annually than the river would have naturally provided without climate change. Furthermore, the Colorado River's historical patterns, identified through analysis of bristlecone pine tree rings, reveal alarming cyclical shifts in water flow that last up to 800 years. Incorporating all these elements, the future of Lake Mead, the Colorado River, and the American Southwest's major cities is precarious. The impact of climate change, overuse, and project miscalculations compound the jeopardy. However, efforts to address this issue are in motion. Just as we engineered a lake in the desert nearly a century ago, Collaboration and proactive solutions can avert a dire outcome. While the challenges are substantial, united action can still make a difference. With these revelations, our video concludes. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Until next time, take care.